Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got another first impressions video for you. But before we get into this knife, I just want to let you guys know, stay to the end of the video. Got a little, a little announcement that has to do with my 1,000 subscriber giveaway that hopefully is going to happen soon. We're only like 24 subs away from 1,000. And it's kind of a sneak peek one of the prizes in the giveaway so stick around but back to this knife um yeah i've had this for a couple of days now so give my first impressions video on it and this is the civivi badlands vagabond runs for about 39.95 on different sites including blade hq um under 40 dollars 40 dollar knife and it's a pretty nice knife. Um, so if you're sitting here looking at it, thinking, boy, something about that's familiar, it is. It is very familiar. It's very similar to the Civivi Ortis, which I did a video on this. Um, it's, it's an awesome knife. I really like it. But as you can see, yeah, the handle... Is exactly the same right down I mean the flipper tab is exactly the same the only difference is the blade style um, plus one's got thumb studs one's got a hole but we might get more into this if you saw my review or my video on the Ortis, you know, I really like this knife. This is an awesome $40 knife. So, this is too. It's going to be, it's going to be your preference. Which style you want. Clip point with, you know, hole deployment. Plus a flipper. Or a drop point with thumb studs. That's going to be entirely up to you. But, yeah. It's very, very, very. Almost the same as the Ortis, but still with the Badlands Vagabond, you still get the same Civivi box, the same um, pouch, you get a couple of stickers, you get the paperwork, you get the cleaning cloth, so $40 knife. Um, which is a good knife. He's, they didn't skimp by none of the extras, so that's that's awesome. But yeah, what do you get with this? Well, almost the same as the orders, but you get a 3.25 inch 9CR 18MOV steel blade. I like 9CR. Works good for me. Um, it's black wash. I like Civivi's black wash. It's a flat grind. Got a nice wedge up here. It is thumb stud or flipper tab. It's got a finger choil. It works pretty good. Even for my fat fingers, I can choke up. Like the Ortis, doesn't have no any jimping on top of the blade. I kind of wish it did. Um yeah, that's pretty much the blade. It's a pretty nice blade. I like the drop point blade. I think I like the drop point blade better than the clip point on the Ortis. But yeah. Nice nice little flipper tab. Thumb studs are done nice. Real good. Rides on Civivi ceramic ball bearings. So... It's pretty close to being drop shot. You just a little flick and it's it drops. I mean, that's smooth. So obviously a liner lock. Lock up is good. Can't really see the black. But no play. Left or right or up or down. This is your stop pin. You can see how that goes in there. Actually, liner lock. You can see it better 
from the top. So lockup is good. It's got it. the lock bar is like completely aligned to the tang, aligned to the blade, but you got lots of room that moves. Easy access to it. You can see there's jimping on it, it's a little raised. So no issues getting to the liner lock. Stainless steel liners, which are heavily skeletonized, which is always nice. It's fairly light. Um, handle is 4.25 inches long. It is FRN material, fiberglass reinforced nylon. Like I said about the orders, it's nice FRN. Um, it's not G10, doesn't feel like G10, um, really, but it's dang close. It's, it's probably the nicest plastic scales that I've had a chance to handle. Um, I, I don't know why they dropped down the FRN on this. They could have very easily done G10. Had been even a more awesomer knife. But I don't have a problem with this FRN. And this or this. I mean, these are exactly the same. Different color. But it doesn't feel bad. Um, they might be, I don't know, a little lighter than G10 would have been. I don't know that. I'm just guessing. But... It's not bad. Um, check the back out here. You got backspacer. And I love this. Backspacer with a hidden lanyard post. Um, I like that. I like it that way. I don't like when they do a lanyard hole that sacrifices the deep carry clip. I don't really have an example out here of that. But... Um, if you have a pair of three, spider code pair of th three, that's um, with a G10, they really screwed up the pocket clip and lanyard hole, but lightweight, they've kind of fixed that. Um, and Civivi also does this little add-on with the lant for the lanyard hole. That's not too bad. Um, the way they do that but I really like how I like this I like the style the the backspacer with the post down in there got plenty of room to run a core through there but yeah um, back you know they didn't sacrifice the pocket clip for the lanyard hole and this pocket clip is excellent it's basically your standard Civivi clip that they've been using but they actually milled out a little pocket for it, as you can see on the other side. And the pocket clip sits not fully down in there, but half, half to three quarters deep. So there's barely any pocket clip sticking up. The screws are totally flat and flush. So there's nothing to get in the way of your pocket, you know. Getting it in your pocket, nothing's going to catch in there. Pocket clip works good. The Ordis was exactly the same. <clears throat> Love it. That's great. <clears throat> so right off the bat, um, I love this backspacer with lanyard post. This pocket clip is awesome. It's left or right hand carry tip up, which is great. Um, yeah. Kind of... I was going to do a comparison with the Ordos. I kind of already did. But yeah. Um, exact same handle. These are just different colors, obviously. Both are nice. Um, I don't know. Kind of. I like both knives. They're, they're great. But kind of bugs me. CVV. It's kind of. I don't know. They're putting out good knives, but they're kind of taking the easy way. 
it came out with this first with a clip point and then they come out with a whole different model that's the same thing with a drop point now I didn't bring the brazen out but they came out with a tanto bladed version of the brazen then they came out with a tr drop point it's still the brazen um, the brazen tanto the brazen drop point that they didn't make two whole different models they mis just made a version of it um, here they very well could have just said the orders two orders drop point something like that um does it make you know is it a big deal not really but i mean come on that's kind of taking a easy way out although we'll get in the ergos and stuff um it's neither here or there i guess got Badlands Vagabond, you got the Ordus. They're basically, I don't know, 90% the same. But anyways, the good about this, which you can also throw over to the Braze or the the Ordus. It's got 9 CR 18 MOV. Um Edge retention's not as good D2. It's more corrosion resistant than D2. I'm kind of sick of D2. Um, I find D2 a more pain in the butt to sharpen. It obviously lasts, the edge lasts longer. Um, but yeah, I like 9CR 18MOV. I like, I like the drop point. I think I like the drop point better than I do the clip point on the Ortis. Um, I like the dual deployment methods. You know, the flipper tab's excellent. I like the thumb studs. I think I prefer the thumb studs on this more than the hole on the Ortis. And... Yeah, along with the deployment, the action is just awesome on this. This is some of the best action on these two cheap $40 knives. Less expensive $40 knives than on some of their more expensive ones. I mean, this thing is just about drop shutty. And it's, it's pretty... Pretty fidgety too. I mean, you can sit there, thumb stud, finger flick, all that stuff. Um, I also I like the access to the lock bar, liner lock. It's easy. The jipping helps to get a grip on it, but it's not sharp. It's not going to cheer your thumb up. What you know if you're fidgeting with it. Um, this FRN is a positive and a negative at the same time for frn like i said this is nice frn it feels good it does not feel like you know a lot of plastic scales it is high quality it's it feels similar it feels close to g10 but at the same time you know you know it's not you know it's plastic i mean It's plasticky sounding. I think it kind of helps. You can pick up the noise on it. Opening and close is pretty cool. Um, yeah. For FRN, they do a good job. This is not bad. Like I said, it's not G10. But I don't mind it. I, it's, it's okay. I mean... I think they could have done G10 for the same price. And again, I, like I said, I love this kind of backspacer with a hidden lanyard post. I think that's it. Keeps it clean looking. You don't have a great big gaping hole in it. 
It doesn't sacrifice the pocket clip for the sake of a lanyard hole. Um, plus, the pocket clip is awesome. Standard Civivi clip, but they milled it in a little bit. Almost fully, not quite. Totally flush screw heads. Thing works awesome. And it is, it is pretty deep carry. It just about disappears. So, yeah. I mean, Ergo's on this. Like the orders for me, I, I always say I wear extra large size gloves and I can get four fingers on it back like this. I can choke up. Um, do have to be careful, but you kind of choking back on this, on the flipper tab is what, what I'm doing. I like that. Um, feels really good in hand. Pocket clip. This part of pocket clip doesn't bother me. Um. If I'm really gra grasping, especially choked up, I can feel the back of it a little bit, but it's not bad. Like this, I don't really feel the pocket clip at all. That's that's wonderful. Um, it's very lightweight. I don't know if I even said the weight on this thing yet. It's listed at 2.97 ounces. Let's see what my scale gets. You know, 84.2 grams, so that's under 3 ounces. It's 2.97, right on the money. So, if they have a cheap Harbor Freight Sentex scale, <laughs> exactly on the, on the money. But, nice lightweight, um, great pocket carry, in and out pocket nice. That's a small flipper tab. You don't feel it when you're reaching down in. And if you do, it is jumping on there, which you can feel, but it's, it's not too sharp for me. It might be kind of sharp for some people, but that's fine. It's sharp, sharp enough for me. Um, doesn't bother me. But yeah, some people might say that's a little. A little bit sharp um man what else i really do like this um what i don't like you know negatives on this thing yeah there's no jimping on the spine at all i'd like i like jimping i wish it had some just right right here been perfect um the only other knock I can give on this is, yeah, man, it's, it is so close. The handle is exactly the same as the Ortis. Um, that just kind of, kind of bugs me. I don't know. I've heard other people kind of say that also, but they're different enough, I guess, with the blade styles. That's a clip point. Which I, I think looks cool, but I think I prefer this drop point blade. Um, but otherwise, they both, ergo, ergos on both of them are excellent. Action on both of them are excellent. Um, this has thumb studs. I think I prefer these more. The action's good. Now, you can fail it. If you try to like push button it, yeah, you can fail it. It's definitely, definitely a light switch thumb or flipper tab. So if I, if I light switch it, it opens up good. If I try to push button it, yeah, doesn't, I can't do it so good. But that's, I guess that's about it, man. $39.95, 9CR 18MOV steel blade. Thumb studs, bearings, or thumb studs, flipper tab, ceramic ball bearings, nice line of lock, um, backspacer, lanyard hole, awesome pocket clip. Probably the best FRN scales out there that I've seen. I think it's a pretty sweet knife. So, if you stuck around this long, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And for the little 
announcement. I am doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway when we reach and go just over a thousand because every time I hit a number like 700, 750, 800, 900, I go one or two over and then I drop back down below it so I want to make sure we're at a thousand you know hopefully for the long term and we're going to hit this giveaway and I got two other items two other knives that's supposed to be coming to me they are awesome but <clears throat> for one of the knives I purchased purchased when I bought this, and it is another Civivi Badlands Vagabond C201989B B O D Green Fiberglass Reinforced Nylon Handle Black Stainless Steel Liner Black Stone Wash 9CR 18MOV. So, yeah, it's exactly like this. So, I'm giving away one of these. Civivi Badlands Vagabond because I knew I was going to like it. I like the Ordis, so I think the color combination is cool. I've get, I've recently gotten a couple in this color combination. Um, I like it, so I thought I'd buy another one for the giveaway. Now I'm not going to open this one because I have an example and um. This is going to come sealed, brand new, you get the joy of opening it, but yeah, that's just one of the knives that are going to be in the giveaway, and also with that, I'm not going to open it, but there's a Civivi lanyard, and it's got a little bead, I don't know if you can see it, um, got a C on there just like the Civivi logo so that's cool you'll get the um, Bad Badlands Vagabond and a um, lanyard for it which will go nicely in that hidden lanyard post so yeah that's that's my announcement be on the lookout for more updates on the giveaway and like I said, you know, if you like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. My, I have like 90% viewership from non-subscribers, only like 10% from the subscribers. So I like to get that average up also. And I guess that's it. Till next video, bye.